Hey guys, it's been a minute since I've been live um, and I just had to get on here. I'm headed into the store um, to Alley Oops to work today and I've had this project that I wanted to do and share and pardon my hair because <laughs> my hair dryer broke. So everywhere I've been, like if I shampoo my hair in the morning, it's wet. So my husband's going out today and I hope he will pick me one up. Otherwise I'll be ordering um, from Amazon because I really don't want to go to Walmart to get one. So pardon, pardon my hair. But anyway, um, I wanted to hop on because I really want to do this project and I just started it. I needed some art therapy. It's been a pretty stressful few weeks um, and art and projects and um, is where I kind of chill out and really, really enjoy. Bethany's the same way. Um, and it just lets you release any stress that you're feeling. So this one's a quick and easy one because, um, like I said, I've got to hit the store today. Market House will be closed today for walk-ins. We are so sorry, but we've had some staffing issues. So if you know anybody who needs a job, let us know. Tell them to contact us. Um, we're looking for crafty, outgoing, positive people to join the team so that we can have it open for walk-ins on a regular basis. So the rest of the week we'll have our workshops and our parties, but we'll be close to walk-in. So I just want to throw that out there. So this little project I saw, and they did a few different things, and I'll show you later. I'll post a picture of how I use them. I don't cook, y'all, but the minute I saw this picture, I think I saw it on, like, Pinterest, I ran out and got me some wooden spoons from Dollar Tree. All right, so basically we're going to make these adorable. Now, these aren't finished. They're not distressed yet. I'm going to distress mine for what I want to do. But we're making these cute little ghosts. And they had them styled in like a little picture, but I have a little idea of where I want to put mine. So we're going to make these really quick. I'm going to show you. So get to Dollar Tree today if you can, Walmart, wherever. Get you some wooden spoons and some. Now, I use um, Dixie Belle chalk paint, but um, for these little projects, a lot of times I will use just a plain old cheap or inexpensive. How about that? Um, chalk paint. So I've got my white chalk paint and I'm just going to show you. I didn't prep this in any way. I um, And comment if you want to. I don't know if I can answer. Um, but comment if you like my little ghosty spoons. They look so cute when you put a couple of them together. So um, I'm going to just take this uh, spoon and I'm so happy to be crafting this morning real quick. I did a couple other little things. My office, workroom, whatever is an absolute wreck. I ordered some new shelving and I've been slowly putting them together and now I have it. You know how you pull everything out to sort through it and then put it back? So that's the stage I'm at now. So if you can see anything around me, it is like a episode from Hoarders. All right, so I'm just taking my white paint and I'm painting on chalk paint. You know, chalk paint dries very fast. And um, so I see a few people are joining me this morning. Hey, hey, Danae, how are you? Um, a few of y'all are on your Facebook. I've been tempted, guys, just to cancel Facebook. But um, because social media, um, but there's so many good things about social media. And so, you know, I'm so conflicted about it. Um, but there's so many issues that um, sometimes in my heart I feel like, because I get stuck on there watching videos and stuff. And um, But I like the socialization of it when you can't be together. Um, so, I'm, you know, like I said, I'm conflicted. But um, it's important that we get together in person when we can. And um, that's what Market House is all about. But in the meantime... It's fun to join on live videos when you can't see one another. I think we're going to do, Caitlin's getting married October 24th, and I think we're doing a live for her um, wedding so that out-of-state relatives can um, see. So the first thing I did is I just painted with plain old inexpensive chalk paint. This is um, folk art white, and I just painted my spoon. Now, the picture I'll post later, they did little Frankensteins and scarecrows and all kinds of fun things, but I really wanted just the little ghosty. All right, so I painted him white. So the next step, and I took a little jar, 
and put mine in. You could use like, you know, so they would dry and not touch each other too much. You could use like styrofoam and stick them in there, whatever you need to help you dry them. Um, so the next step, this is when I need a hair dryer really, is when I'm doing my projects. No, I need to get my hair, um, dry my hair because it looks a wreck all the time. It does not dry pretty. Some people have beautiful wavy hair or their hair just kind of is straight and it falls just right. Mine just kind of does its own thing on the end. So hair dryer needed desperately. All right, so this dries pretty, pretty fast. I've got one pretty much dry right here. It's almost dry. And I was hoping it would get really dry so I could distress it on the video, but I may save my distressing for later. I just really wanted to show you the idea and then I'll post a picture later of how I style it. So I'm using, um, this is another form of chalk paint, chalk mineral paint. It is a Maker Studio and this one is Little Black Dress and it's one of my favorite blacks that, that um, in paint that they make. So I'm going to just take a little bit of that and I've got a skinny little liner brush that I'm gonna use and I'm gonna go in and just, you can draw them out to give you a guide if you want, but I'm just gonna freehand it because I want it to be, I don't care if it's not perfect because nothing, I always say, you know, a million people say it too, nothing in life is perfect, but that's the art of handmade. So this is where I might want my glasses. Is that not pitiful? The glasses and I need new ones I've got to go to the eye doctor so I'm just making a little circle or oval it's an oval got to get my shapes right and filling it in all right and I'm using black I use you can use acrylic paint if you want no big deal um, I find that the chalk paint dries faster I painted some earlier with acrylic and they're still wet and for what we want, it doesn't um, matter if you use acrylic. Just use what you have. Um, don't rush out. You could even use a Q-tip probably if you um, twisted the end, if you don't have a liner brush. Um, and you know what? You can even dig your spoons out um, of your dra drawer, excuse me, and use um, use some that you already have. Just they say you're really not supposed to use wooden utensils anyway, don't they? Because of the um, the wood absorbs germies. I don't know. I think bamboo might be okay, but I love a wooden spoon, and I just disinfect mine as best I can so there you go just a simple little ghosty face nothing you know fancy about it and so we're going to dry it real quick let's see I don't even know what time it is I'm supposed to get out of here because Sydney is at the store she opened this morning and um I just been wanting to go live and tell y'all about the studio needing to be closed today and um there's some upcoming classes. There's the Funky Pumpkin Porch Sign. Yes, thank you, Dottie, for saying that. I, that's what I said. Rush to the Dollar Tree and get you a pack of wooden spoons and paint these up. And then put them, if you have a crock, I'm going to post later, like I said, how I style them. But if you have a crock, um, an old pitcher, a little vase you can just stick them even oh thank you Dottie even around hey Patsy how are you um, even in your utensils that you already have just stick a few in there and make it so cute so I'm drying it let's see my acrylic is still not dry so the acrylics gonna take longer to dry the chalk art or chalk paint will get dry pretty quickly but we'll see this one is still wet that was the acrylic so I'm just going to show you how I would distress it. So I would just take my little, what we love to do in the studio is take a little block, it's just an old piece of trim, and wrap your, um, oh, I can't speak this morning, I haven't had enough coffee maybe, sandpaper around it, and then just 
distress it. Now I'm not doing the black yet because it's not dry. Um, this is just in um, because of time. I just wanted you to see what I'm going to do. See how it's distressed? I don't know. Uh, yeah, there you can kind of see the light. I may have to aim my light a little bit better, but there's you kind of getting that distressed. And the way I like to distress is I just like to brush against it, and that kind of gives it um, the edges where things you always want to distress where things are going to naturally wear. So they, you know, they look authentic, like it's authentic. So like Dottie said, y'all rush to Dollar Tree today and get you some wooden spoons. I'll post a few more pictures later, but um, I just wanted to share this with you. I needed to get my hands in some paint this morning to kind of chill out and prepare me for the day. And I hope y'all have a wonderful day. I hope to go live. I posted a really cool patina pumpkin that my Dixie Belle family, um, an artist in that group, um, posted, and I thought it was really cool. So I hope that this evening um, I can go live and do that for y'all because that was really fun. And you can um, snag up some inexpensive pumpkins. They're on sale now everywhere. I think Dollar Tree has them. Hobby Lobby's on sale already. So um, we'll take a look at that later. But for today, here's my little boo spoons that's what they call them boo spoons how about that and i will show y'all what i do with them a little later but thank you all so much for watching this morning thank you for joining me if you will spread the love and let others see this cute little project and um just have a happy wednesday it's hump day right it's wednesday it's garbage day um for us <laughs> anyway have a great day and hopefully i'll see you soon bye